Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring OSPF v2 in a single area. Here is our objectives of this packet tracer activity. In part 1, configure OSPF v2 routing. Then in part 2, verify the configurations. We will go through the background in this activity. The IP addressing is already configured. We are responsible for configuring the three router topology with basic single area OSP of V2 and then verifying connectivity between end devices. Coming to part 2 1, configure OSP of V2 routing. That's step 1, configure OSP of on the R1, R2, and R3. Use the following requirements to configure OSP of routing on all three routers. So process ID is a 10, router ID for each router, this is for R1, 1.1.1.1, and for R2, 2.2.2.2, and for R3, 3.3.3.3. .3 the network address for each interface, LAN interface set to passive, do not use the default keyword, right. So we will configure uh, this OSPF on R1, R2, R3 now. Coming to R1, here we can see the directly connected networks 172.16.1.0 uh, slash 24, 172.16.3.0 slash 30 and 192.168.10.4 slash 30. And here we can see the passive interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Coming to the configuration, R1 CLI enable configure terminal and here we will go to router OSPF and the process ID 10 then router ID 1.1.1.1 now we will give the network 172.16.1.0 and the uh, wildcard bits 0.0.0.255 now we have to specify the area as 0. The next network 172.16.3.0 and the wildcard bits 0 .0 0.0.0.3 area 0. Coming to the ne next network 192.168.10.4 and the wildcard bits 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3 area 0 oops here dot 3 right area 0 now we will set the passive interface that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 yes so now we will save the configuration copy running to startup now coming to the router R2, here we can see the directly connected networks 172.16.2.0 slash 24, 172.16.3.0 slash 30, 192.168.10.8 slash 30 and here we can see the passive interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Coming to the configuration on R2. Enable configure terminal router OSP of process ID 10 and to the router ID 2.2.2.2 .2 network 172.16.2.0 while the card bits 0 .0 0.0.0.255 and the area is 0. Coming to the next network 172.16.3.0 Oops, we give an old comma, right. 172.16.3.0 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 and the area 0, the last network 192.168.10.8 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 and the area 0. 
Now we will set the passive interface so gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. And we will copy from running to startup. Coming to the router R3, here we can see the directly connected uh, network so 192.168.1.0 slash 24, 192.168.10.8 slash 30 and 192.168.10.4 slash 30. Here we can see the passive interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Coming to the configuration on R3. Enable configure terminal router OSPF uh, process ID 10. We will set the router ID 3.3.3.3. .3 now we will give the network 192.168.1.0 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.255 .0 and the area is 0. Next network 192.168.10.4 and the wildcard bit 0.0.0.3 and the area 0 oh, give an extra 0 so here is 3 area 0 and the last network 192.168.10.8 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 area 0 now we will set the passive interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 coming to uh, step 2 verify OSPF routing is operational on each router the routing table should now have a route to every network in the topology right we will verify that first of all we will verify on R1 show ip root and here we can see ospf roots yes now we will come to r2 cli show ip root yes here we can see that ospf o coming to R3 CLI show IP root and here we can see that yes coming to part 2 verify the configurations each PC should be able to ping the other two PCs if not check your configurations right so now we will verify the configurations we will get the ip address of pc2 yes here it is coming to pc1 desktop command prompt here we are going to give the ping yes we are getting the replay now we will test to pc3 here is the address of pc3 coming to PC1 yes we are getting the replay yes that's all in this packet tracer activity here we can see the completion status 100 out of 100 so in this packet tracer we have seen how to configure OSPF v2 routing and finally we verified the configurations my dear friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And for the future videos, you can subscribe the channel right now so that you will get latest uploading video info into your Gmail. Thank you.